Hey everybody, it's April. Today I want to talk about how being strong physically also helps make you strong mentally. So I'm going to start on my hands and I'm going to switch around a little bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I'm outside on my deck. This is, this is new for me. Um, so if you're starting on hands, start in table, pull your shoulders down your back, then lift your upper back, lift your chest, pull in your belly, come up on your toes, shift your weight forward slightly. The timer has begun. And then remember, once you're in your plank, do everything again. So you really want to make sure you have good form. Press into the floor again, separate your shoulders, pulling in your belly. Ooh, I felt stuff adjust. <laughs> Tightening up your glutes, pressing your heels back, even reach your tailbone toward your heels. So you've got a nice long spine and this great form going on with your plank. We are at 30 seconds. If this was your first time holding for 30, that's great. Maybe you can hold a little longer. If that's not available, that's okay too. But always, always remember, form is more important than how long you hold. If you're holding a wonky plank for two minutes, it's really not doing you any good. It may actually do you some harm, depending on what the bad form is. So always, always make sure you're doing a good plank. Maybe you look in the mirror, you can see your reflection in the window. If you're doing it outside, maybe you have your camera on so you can see what your plank looks like. Oh, we're already in a minute. Actually, we're at a minute seven. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay on my hands for another, I don't know how long. Um, but I wanna talk about how, you know, being physically strong also helps make you mentally strong. I didn't realize that because when I was growing up, the emphasis was always on being skinny or pretty. And I didn't realize how working on physical strength also helps make you stronger mentally. And that's by, it improves your self-confidence. So think about if you started off with a plank and you held for 10 or 15 seconds your first few times, but you work up to 15, 30, maybe a minute, that's going to give you a lot of confidence and that confidence helps make you stronger. That's one of the things that makes you a strong person is having that confidence. And you have to think about, we're coming up on two minutes. I'm going to switch to my forearms. <clears throat> Remember, whenever you switch, you always want to come back to good form. So I'm going to press into the floor, separate my shoulders, pulling in my belly. So you've got a nice strong plank, no matter whether you're on your hands or your forearms, always, always pulling in your navel. <clears throat> but think about everything with your body, what's going on inside is also reflecting what's going on outside and vice versa. So if you're strong on the outside, 230, meaning physically, then you're going to be stronger on the inside. And you know, that also is going to make you healthier overall which is also going to help with your confidence. You know, when you're stronger and healthier, you can feel really good about yourself. And, and that's important. It's important in your day-to-day -day, um, operations and your day-to-day -day comings and goings. You want to feel strong and good about yourself. We're coming up on three minutes. I'm switching to my forearm. Oh, I'm on my forearm. I'm switching to side plank. Oh, and look, I have an arm in the sun. Oh. So today, it's actually uh, 310 is where we are in our time. Um, today was pretty nice outside, and so that's one reason why I decided to plank outdoors. It's also my first time planking on my deck at my new house, so that's kind of exciting. I've never had a house with a nice deck before, and so I, I want to take advantage of it. 330, I'm going to switch sides. <clears throat> and, you know, it's no secret that I'm really not an outdoor girl but I try to make myself do a few more things outside because you know what? I don't really suffer from depression or anything, but that's another thing you can do for yourself. If you do start feeling like you're having, being anxious or feeling depressed, uh, going outdoors is really good for you. Okay, we're coming up on four minutes. I think I'm gonna finish on my hands. <clears throat> So if you come, <laughs> after I move my hair out of my eyes or my face, my mouth, I hate when I get hair in my mouth while I'm trying to talk. So you might have had to take a break while you're planking. That's okay. Take a break, come down on your knees. If you have your stopwatch in front of you, stop it. And then you can come back up again and see how long you hold. And so maybe your goal is to be strong enough that let's say you're holding for 30 seconds and then you stop 
and then you hold for another 30 seconds and then you stop that maybe your goal is to work up to one minute without having to stop in the middle and you're going to feel really good about yourself you're going to feel confident that you are getting so much stronger and but it comes from doing things that are hard you know doing having everything easy is not how you build strength physically or mentally i mean you may look at lifting weights as being really difficult and so you never start we're at five minutes but that's how you're going to get stronger is by doing it by picking up that weight or by planking this is how you're going to get stronger and that's also how you're going to strengthen your confidence so here we are at 515 i'm going to stop now so remember you want to, physical strength translates into inner strength it, it really it's all this is all a package it all comes together but you have to do the work it does require a little bit of work but it's so worth it have a great day